know on one of these things here. Just got to touch an alligator. <laughs> Took her out to some like alley with like just like nothing but like broken bottles and graffiti. Yeah, you know, it like was really scary. As is so like us, we are running behind for our fan boat. We're trying to get breakfast. I, we got it to go. I'm going to eat chicken and waffles. My husband, gluten freeness, uh, that he lives, he'll, he'll be eating the traditional breakfast. So we're going to try to eat it in like five minutes and then get an Uber, no, a lift, a lift over to the town that we need to go to for the fan boat. Swamp boats. Gonna take us into the swamp. That's what you do in Louisiana. I'm excited, but a lady here gave me some mosquito repellent, which I think is gonna be absolutely necessary as I do not react well to mosquitoes like he does, but I especially don't. Um, I've been told I will definitely see gators and I might get wet. We're gonna get on one of these things here. Which is, uh, it's called an airboat. I would call it a fan boat, but uh, they're calling it airboat. And uh, apparently, we've been told several things by our Uber driver, lots of things by our Uber driver. His name was Zach, he was awesome. However, uh, he explained to us that they lure the unsuspecting children gator by feeding them candy and asking them to get into their bed. He's the marshmallows. Candy, Not marshmallows, same thing. They feed them marshmallows and say, come here, kids, get in my van. The adults, you feed chickens and you catch them, you eat them. But the babies, Do you really eat them? Yeah, you eat gators. You didn't see all that gator drifty in the store? I didn't yesterday? believe it. Yeah. I thought it was a joke. No, no, it, it kind of tastes like, um, chicken. like fishy chicken. Oh. Hey, look, there's one right there. No, it's not. I don't know. about to get real loud.
plenty of dogs. Is this like uh, water? That's like how deep do they go? Rather, these alligators. Do they go out deep? Uh, do they swim out deep? No. And what are they hunting normally? Just fish? Crabs, turtles, fish, maybe ducks. They they can swallow a hole. Ah. The only thing they they can swallow a hole. August 27th last year, warm water 15, 20 feet high, sustained winds of 183 miles an hour, gusty winds of 235 miles an hour. The worst storm in Louisiana history. Did more damage than anything. Now, all this debris came from the marshland. It is all marsh. Marshland is about 15, 20 feet of solid mud, muck, and decaying roots. It all came from the marsh, disposed of it in here. Now, with that being said, that's a bad situation. This marshland being in here, opposed to where it should be in the marshland, we have nothing to slow storms down anymore. Mm -hmm. The marshland is a buffer zone. Every one mile of marsh that a storm surge passes over, it will slow a storm down 10 miles per hour. Every one mile of marsh that a storm surge passes over, it will drop a storm surge, or drop a surge down two feet. So without this being where it's at, we're in a very vulnerable position to steer for the storm season. We have nothing to stop storms. <clears throat> We get hit by night, night right now with a category three plus storm, which is a 150 mile an hour storm. We have nothing to slow the storms down.
this right here is marshland. What it actually is, about 15, 20 feet of solid mud, muck, and decaying roots floating on a pillow of water about four foot deep. And there's a French term for this stuff right here called floton, meaning floating land. And all the land we're riding on and around today, guys, belongs to one family. It belongs to the Perez family. <laughs> now, if you saw the movie The Pelican Brief, read the book The Pelican Brief, that is based on the Perez family. Very, very rich, politically corrupt people, but they help us out, so we say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp bugs. It's a cricket. It is a cricket? Oh, oh it's so goodness. huge. It's called a devil horse, actually, but it's a cricket. It's just a regular common cricket. Not a common cricket, but it's a cricket. You can eat it? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're around us on native trees in Louisiana. They're called the ball cypress. They give the name the ball cypress because if you look up at them, yeah. you see the little green and brown propagation balls that these trees produce. I can probably see those three guys and stand up and move on the boat if you like. But, uh, yeah, the propagation balls. Them right here, less than 100 years old, so back in the olden days, they went ahead and they could have cut boats in southern Louisiana and used the wood for a boat. Y'all could grab one, guys. They'll just we'll crawl across you. They're going to hurt you. But uh, <laughs> that's one of my next to you, sir, right here. Look up. Look up. Right there. That's probably it. He does not want them. But, uh, <laughs> Go ahead, grab it. Yeah, they're less than 100 years old because they could have cut most of the southern Louisiana. They used the wood for a boat, furniture, houses, things like that. You got to grab them. You won't let you crawl on your finger. You got to grab them. Don't fall in. So they buy. Yeah, they're less than 100 years old because back in the olden oh, days they went ahead and they cleared cut more of the Louisiana. Here we cricket. Oh, you got away. You gotta reach and grab them. They won't let you. You won't let you peacefully grab them. You gotta just yeah, when anyone tries to grab me, I run too. Where's the one that fell in the water? Did he get out? I don't know if you ever made it. I like you that. He swam across the front over here. They swim. Hey, they swim. Man, those are some. If you didn't tell me they were crickets, I'd be terrified of them. <laughs> it's like locusts. What is, is this? Is this the end? Is this the the seventh plague? This right here. This is a tree right here. is over 150 years. This is one of them that they missed. The one directly behind this is a little fork in it. That's a There he is. Yeah, just pick it up and throw it in the tree. Throw it up in there, he'll fly away. Just take a bite. <laughs> to that point <laughs> where it's over. <old. laughs> yeah. Did you eat him? Wait, did you eat him? Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guy on the other boat just ate a cicada. You want, you want to push it out? Weird. You got it. about New Orleans is that it is a buzz with activity like it's always just kind of doing something there are people around and having fun mostly having fun doing stuff um, and as my husband mentioned earlier it's a buzz with like unique local things as opposed to uh, like your typical Starbucks we have found and we had to look hard and we didn't actually look for it but we just like walked by a Starbucks it's not a Starbucks in every corner it's cute French looking uh, houses with you know patios above them and and uh, the streets say rue which in French means street you're welcome I've taught you a French word um, strat. strat is incorrect he knows he knows no French forgive him um, so yeah, anyway, it's something I'm appreciating about it. Also, I realized I didn't mention because I just was had to hurry up and eat before we got in our Uber. My breakfast was so good. I had chicken and waffles, but not just chicken and waffles. I had chicken nuggets and waffles, like big chicken strips. And so I didn't have to deal with bones because I don't like bones because I'm like, five. you know, I'm not, it's not that I'm five. 
It's that I don't like to know that it was an animal. It's like I'm a vegan, but I eat meat with like this. Um, She's a vegan. I'm a vegan. Sorry to you vegans out there. It's just hard. But I really don't like reminders of animalness. And so therefore I don't like bones. And this was so good. I ate it. We got it to go so we could do it quickly. We ate it right outside of there. Um, and uh, it was absolutely delicious. How was your breakfast? Uh, mine was pretty, pretty good, but you know, obviously not as good. Because he's gluten free. Sad. Anyway, we're off to the convention center because he has to go do some work. I want to read my book about stuff in New Orleans, in New Orleans, uh, while drinking a drink. So I'm gonna see if I can find a place to do so near the convention center. Reading Ann Rice in New Orleans. One thing about this city, man, they got a lot of cool stuff just like hanging around. A lot of art. You gotta love that. Woo, it's hot. Very hot. I'm on my way to meet up with Kat, see where she wandered off to. I think she said she's at some upscale bar called the Rusty Nail. Let's go see where it is. If you wondered why we came to the South in the summer, it's a good question. I mean, I was told once going to Chicago in the summer that of course I fell in love with it. You know, all the fireflies, which they call lightning bugs, and the lovely weather and the music outside, that if I really wanted to love Chicago, I needed to come when it was difficult. I needed to come during the winter. And I want to say Louisiana slash the South is like that. If you really want to love the South, you got to come during the summer. And if you still love it, then you're allowed to say you love it. And if you really love it and you want to come while it's difficult, come while you're black. Or a woman. Or a woman. Yay, I'm also subjugated. <laughs> I mean, we came here while Roe v. Wade was struck down, so, <laughs> yay. guys, the drinks, the apps, if you, if you are in New Orleans and you don't come to Copper Vine, you're doing yourself a disservice. This place is amazing. We just finished having dinner at uh, Copper, Vine. Copper Vine, which was recommended by a local and was Ooh. amazing, but wandering that Wander not tip number 493.125. Have dinner at the bar. Bartenders are interesting. They have so much to say. They will tell you all about the drinks that they created, which these drinks were awesome. They were not the typical, I don't know, sweet stuff plus random alcohol. Uh, the food was delicious. The drinks were delicious. It was wonderful. Now, we are going on tips from another local instead of Bourbon Street to Frenchman Street, which is apparently safer and with more music. Uh, so that's our plan. Frenchman Street, 
or bust? What do you think, baby? Bust or Frenchman Street? There's pride on Bourbon Street. But hopefully there's no crime on No, honestly, Frenchman Street. Crime on Bourbon. Honestly, the locals are telling me how dangerous it is, so. We didn't see any danger. We get robbed. No danger for us. We never ran into Not any thus far, but I like we say that until we get robbed, time. right? What? We say that until we get robbed, and then we're like, oh, there was danger. If somebody robs me, then I'm going to rob somebody else. That's how it works. I just want to be honest here. Honestly, while Google Maps will tell us where to go, we're also discussing what is the safest thing to do because people that are here that are local are telling us what's not safe to do, which is like to walk around. Okay, really though? Ow, I'm sunburned. That's not safe. I'll punch you in the face. Exactly. So anyway, New Orleans is wonderful, but you have to make decisions. Now, shall we take an Uber to the place we want to go? <laughs> or shall we try to, to hoof it and maybe get robbed? Now, listen, Chris can't even take my punches. So I feel like we should Uber. You <laughs> put him to sleep. It's not a good, not a good sign. <laughs> I vote Uber. I know it's gonna be like an extra fifteen bucks, but like fifteen bucks over getting robbed. I'm saying. Fuck Uber. We're walking. No. This is not that kind of risky channel. I want to be a safe channel. Safe channel. Cause that definitely. So no, she's no, gonna talk dead. crap about me on camera. <laughs> no, we're going to Frenchman Street because it was recommended. So I'll show you what it's like. They're so far, it's pretty. What? You can tell them I took you the wrong place. I almost took her out to some like alley with like just like nothing but like broken bottles and graffiti. Yeah, it like, was really scary. <laughs> they're like, get out. No. Yeah, he told the Uber guy, he was like, uh, this is the wrong place. This is definitely not the first thing I'm thinking. <laughs> wrong place. And they took us the right place. No, yeah, I either. wasn't going to tell them. Isn't that nice of me? <laughs> I'm so nice. Baby, what are you thinking about all this art you see around here? I love it. I wish I could wear these kinds of earrings still because I need actual gold, but these are funky and I would love to wear these funky earrings. Whatever they do to them. Yeah, that is dope. More, more. Zip. Zip. That's beautiful. This, this art is amazing. <laughs>
This reading monkey lamp. No, I like or the umbrella one. The uh, monk, monkey umbrella lamps. Yes, these are the kind of antiques. I, I like the reading monkey lamp a lot. He's got glasses on. Yeah, it's more interesting, but the other one is more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That wine uh, rack right there. I like the weird children holding other children up. Creepy children? Yeah, that one right there. And then this guy. Ah. Uh, Baby, mm -hmm. they don't want us to get you. Look at me. Oh my god, there was just lightning behind you. It was so cool. They'll get you. They'll get me. Mm -hmm. The lightning will get me. We've come to Sucre. Sucre? Sucre. But um, we're excited. This is gonna be the last exciting thing we do before we get to play. Let's be honest. Because we party medium and play medium. No, we work medium and we party medium. Play medium. You get it. tried to come up to see what the pool is like in the evening and we got this message hi lighting is very frightening the rooftop is closed temporarily until it passes hopefully we will reopen soon XO ace so again yes lighting super Super scared of the light. Don't know what to do about the lighting. There's incandescent lighting. There's LED lighting. Who knows what kind of lighting they're scared of? I mean, it could be any kind of lighting. Task lighting as well as ambient lighting. There's lighting in the pool. A wide variety. I mean, it could be any kind of lighting that they're scared of. And if it is lightning, well, no, sir. There is no lightning. So, why is the pool closed? We had a great time doing the fan boat, uh, aka airboat, yesterday, aka swamp tour. And I just want to mention a few things that are to keep in mind uh, if you are going to book something like this. One, technically you can book the night before, but you're not going to get the cheap one, which might be better. But uh, there, and you won't necessarily get your pick of times. So booking a little ahead of time makes some sense. Two, bring sunscreen. I brought sunscreen. I applied more than once and I still got a little sunburn. There's lots of sun, lots of Louisiana sun. Three, um, bring liquids, uh, drink, bring water to drink. You can also bring kind of any kind of drinks you want. I think I saw a group that had like a whole thing of beer. So bring your beer if you want. Um, yeah, yeah, bring liquids because it, it's a thirst. Uh, making it's a thirst making adventure and um, for there are no mosquitoes in the swamp we didn't know and uh, somebody had mosquito repellent and so we were like ah we need that but uh, the guide told us no mosquitoes in the swamp so it's the, the water runs enough so that that doesn't happen and if there is a small little uh, catchment of water the birds eat the larva um, there's lots of birds in the swamp so just a few things to think about uh, that and figuring out how you're going to get there and back. It is uber downable, but not uber backable. We ended up taking a bus back and that worked out fine. Um, and it was 18 bucks a piece. So it was about the same price as if we had Ubered and, um, and apparently Ubers don't want to pick up from way the heck out there. So it worked out just fine.
yeah, but it was a, it was a fantastic experience. I highly recommend it. Learned a lot. Oh, my God.